all right what is up youtube and welcome back to another video man and in today's video i want to talk about the power of working in silence working in silence is a little bit different than what you might think it means i'm not necessarily talking about eliminating all the distractions like on your phone getting rid of all that dopamine and deactivating your social media accounts or silencing notifications obviously that is all important but in today's video i want to focus more on not always telling people your goals and all these things that you're working on in your life when you're doing things that you're trying to accomplish what i've noticed from my experience man is just the more people you tell it's just going to kind of just annoy you in the long run there's just going to be so much noise that it really kind of messes with your psyche now what do i mean by this right well i think humans by nature they we'll always ask a lot of questions, right? If it's especially something out of the ordinary. So if you're somebody who has always been very social, right? And then all of a sudden this new year, you decide to work on a new goal and you just disappear. A lot of your friends are gonna be like, where, where do you go, right? And you take it one next level and you start telling people, it just leads to a lot of unnecessary pressure and kind of annoyance. So. For example, right, you know, this YouTube channel, I know if I had told a lot of people about it, there would just be a lot of questions, just annoying questions back and forth. How come you haven't hit 100K? How come you haven't hit 10K subs? How come you haven't hit 5K subs? And it's just annoyance because a lot of people who aren't content creators, who don't have that type of experience making content, they're just gonna start asking questions after questions. It's better to let the results speak for itself. And if you look at a lot of successful people, right? You think about Elon Musk and J Jeff Bezos. You always see is that end result and where they are now, but not a lot of people really know that much about what went on in their personal life, what was going on through that middle ground, through those middle years to get to where they were because a lot of people just worked in silence. Now, I think it's good to at least tell a couple people, just not go into too much detail, right? And I know there's a lot of self-improvement content creators that have a lot of groups, right? Of people working to level up, which I'm all for, but the thing is the difference between having groups of people that are all trying to self-improve versus just telling random people that might not even be on a self-improvement journey. It's very different. I'm all for people joining groups, self-improvement groups, where people are all together working towards their goals, right? Holding each other accountable. That's fine. But when it comes to telling all these people in your day-to-day -day life, right? It's better to just always work in silence. People even asking your progress, right? Oh, how come you're not at this stage yet or that stage yet? Oh, how much money have you made from your business? this past month, these past couple months. Oh, how many subscribers are you at, man? How come you're not at a thousand subscribers yet? It's just a lot of unnecessary annoyance and stress when you tell people these goals, especially people who aren't on a self-improvement journey. So if you have a group of friends that constantly hit you up like every weekend or during the middle of the week to say, you know, go out to like a movie or on the weekend, get drinks, go out drinking, go out to the bars, go out, do X, Y, Z, just chase dopamine, right? I think it's always better to tell these guys that, hey, I have a project that I'm working on. Don't take it personally, but I'm gonna be busy the next couple of months. So if I don't always hit you back on my phone, don't take it personal. Just a basic message like that, or just saying that you're trying to genuinely improve your life and you're gonna be busy these next couple months, this next year, not take it personally. You don't always get back to them or if you can't always make it to plans, keeping it brief and not so specific, right? Working in silence in that way is always better and let the final product itself that you're trying to work on, the final goal that you're trying to achieve, when you do achieve it, do all the talking, man. Because trust me, one day, when you do have, say you're trying to just improve your lifestyle, right? And you go through two, three years of self-improvement, or even if you disappear for just one year, when you come out of that, right? And you just come out a better man, the results will speak for themselves, guys. 
The results in life will always speak for themselves, right? Your body, your physique will speak for itself. Your product, your business generating revenue. When your friends see that you have that business, they will see that the product really speaks for itself. You know, and you can even make the case for your career, right? I remember back in the day, my friends and I would tell each other like our salaries, right? What we were making. And it was like every little thing, every little bonus, every little increase we got, we would tell the world, right? And what I've learned is just, you just come off even a, a little bit arrogant, right? Especially when you're telling people about the assets that you have, especially when you're just telling people every single you know bonus or salary you get. Even when it comes to self-improvement, telling too many people that, hey, I'm on the self-improvement journey to level up my life, it'll kind of come off as arrogant. People will start innately thinking, oh, this guy's a dick. He thinks he's gonna be better than all of us. So at the end of the day, man, better to work in silence. Now, if people specifically ask you down the line, what are your assets? How much are you making? If they genuinely ask you, and if you really want to, then yeah, you can calmly disclose it, especially if you've been quiet these past couple years, and then all of a sudden nobody knows how much you've leveled up financially, and then maybe one day your friends will ask you like, hey, how's your job going? How much are you making? If you really wanna disclose it, you could confidently say how much you're making, but don't say it in a cocky way, right? Don't be so cocky, say it calmly, say it with confidence, but don't come off as arrogant, right? Because I think there is a boundary between being super confident and being arrogant, man. And always let your results and your product speak for yourself. Better to always work in silence and not tell the world all of your goals, man. So that's it for today's video, man. Drop a comment below. Let me know your thoughts and I'll catch you all in the next one.